All right, so good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live from the studio. See, you see what I did there? Yeah, I did there. Uh, with our newest episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Uh, what does that mean? That means we're going to do an interactive campaign with you guys. Kingdom Death Monster, where you are controlling one of the characters, making all the important decisions, and eating all the bugs. But first off, who are we? As usual, I'm Matt. And I'm Josh. And uh, in the background, we've got a typey type of the disembodied fingers of TP. Uh, so clickety-clack, TP, thank you for joining us today. I know, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> let's just get into the, as you like when I say, the meat and potatoes of things, Josh. And, meat uh, and potatoes? Meat and potatoes, not or. Meat and potatoes. So, Josh, what happened last week on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We went... Oh, I'm sorry, last episode, because last episode. we're doing double death now. Yeah, double death. Yeah. So last episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death... We went and fought the Gorm. Okay. Uh, level 1 Gorm, and did pretty well. We beat it up pretty good. We had very limited resources on the way back. Yeah. Just we got, like, no hide, and it kind of sucked. Yeah. But we did innovate paint, so we can dash now. Ooh. Which is good. And so we're we're dashing then. Yeah. Uh, we made a Rip Blade, and we made a uh, Bone Club. Oh, that's right. We got a bunch of cool weapons now. Yeah. So uh, Twitch actually has the Bone Club, but they're, they're going to be fist and tooth in it. Uh, we did make some dry decanthus for Twitch. Just in case something bad happens. Why do you want dry decanthus? Why yeah. would you ever want that? So, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just got that shirt. Face palm. Oh, go just got the shirt. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think they got their own copy of it. I mean, I mean maybe, they might have. Maybe you did. They might have gone online to find you it. You never know. Um, so that was happening. Matt, uh, real quick. Uh, before we start, you want to talk about the sub drive? Sub drive. We're driving around a giant sub sandwich. Think the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, but in sandwich form. We're going around the country. No, not a submarine. We're not going around the country with it. No, that doesn't even make sense. Why would it be a submarine? <laughs> uh, no, we are doing a sub drive right now because you know we want to increase our subs. It's a thing. Every dollar that we get from it goes back into investing in the stream. We get new cool things to make the stream better. I just got myself a stream deck over here. So I can make I can make everything happen more smoothly. Uh, but what's good about the sub drive too is that it's going to allow us to give away more stuff. Yeah, we get more giveaways, and uh, we got some exclusive giveaways going on when we hit some major milestones in subscribers. I don't know what that. <laughs> <says>. <laughs> You just got uh. yelled at in Japanese. <laughs> um, I need to give him points. I love what someone just said in chat. Ah, the stream deck, a.k.a. the quiet Nicole. <laughs> 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 That's fantastic. Oh, man. I don't think that they said that. What? I don't see that. I, the Mr. Franco. Yeah. James Franco said that. James Franco just said that the stream decks the quiet Nicole. Yo, James Franco. <laughs> Cash me outside. How about that? No, it's cats me outside. Cats me outside. How me out that? Yeah, thank you. Oh, he she changed his name again. It's Tongue Punch. It's maybe. It's Maybelline. It's Maybelline. Tongue Punch. It's Maybelline. <laughs> oh, my God. That's even better. So. Thank you so much, Tongue Punch. We really do appreciate it. Uh, again, that's all the stuff's going into funding stuff for the stream. Uh, but back to what I was saying. We're going to get some cool giveaways for you guys at Major Milestones. The deck does have a mute button. Uh, no, it's the same name. So at 200 subs, we've got a 3D print, one-of-a-kind uh, Halloween white speaker. Right, Josh? Say yes. Yep. Uh, and that is boop, boop, signed by Poots. At 300 subs, I think I was saying this a little bit before uh, when we went before we went live live, but you know, uh, we've got the 3D print of the Nightmare Ram head. This is an oversized print, so you know, it's big. It's actually really heavy for a 3D print. It's not signed, but it is a one of a kind item. Uh, that's at 300 subs. At 400, we've got an undisclosed surprise 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 uh, giveaway. And again, these are all sub only giveaways. And then finally, the big, the bad, the not that ugly. Uh, showed out. It's pretty big. It's like the size of your face. Merc's Bob. Yes, I am bringing both my costumes to the survivors. <clears throat> so that is the uh, Black Knight 3D print bust. It's big. It's signed. It's awesome. 500 subs. Uh, as soon as we do that, we're going to do a sub-only giveaway. 
<laughs> it's yeah, it's really awful using use the, the apps. Use the website to sub. I the, I have I have such a hard time figuring it out. Uh, if you're trying to use your Twitch Prime, sub, yeah, Twitch Prime. If you do yeah. normal sub, it should there should just be a sub button. Transcendent is saying Jamal would look glorious in my house. This is named Jamal now. Apparently, chat is named Jamal yeah. because you know. I can't wait to win that Black Knight bus so I can make Fen paint it for me. Oh, that would oh, oh. I think Fen like Fen wants to win it. Like he he legit really wants to win it. But I think he'd be happy just getting to paint it. I think it he too. would be happy to paint it as well. <laughs> I think I can't like if that happens and someone commissions Fen to paint it. I would I can't wait to see what that looks like. Can I see it? I no, you see can't. Jamal you see turned into a flask for bourbon. Oh, that's awesome too. That's. Sick. I like bourbon. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, yeah, so you can. You can just don't drop it. Otherwise, I'll murder you, and everyone <gasps> in the chat will murder you. Oh boy. Onesie time, but Miri Bob. Oh, OMG! Getting it painted didn't even cross my mind. Ninety-nine percent sure it's me. Can anyone tell me which shoulder pads go on the male lion armor survivors? Kind of drive me nuts. Josh is the answer for that one. Uh, I have not put together Many any stuff of these I minis. Don't. The detail on this thing is phenomenal. Everyone likes a detailed bust. Yeah. Yes. A big detailed bust. A big. Yep, it's me. Detailed so bust. I will with be back. Nice crack in just down a second. The that's okay. So it's an intentional crack. No. Yeah, it's an intentional crack. Like, I believe that's called cleavage. Yes. 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 Is following the same as I think. Yeah. Uh, is following the same as subbing? No, it is not. Following is akin to what subscribing is on YouTube. Subscribing is uh, doing a monthly. Uh, subscription. subscription, like you would for Netflix, uh, to show support for the stream, and it unlocks some benefits for you, like the subscriber-only giveaways that we do uh, on the stream as well. And it gives you bonus points for all of the other uh, giveaways that we do. Um, so subscribing, and again, there's multiple levels for subscriptions, and as a reminder, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you... Oh. Thank, thank you, Retrovidia! I like when I oh I see the gif of them dancing. Like, mm, 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 Wait, mm, who's mm, dancing? Mm. It was you and Anne. Oh, that's us. That was thank you so much. Um, don't have a onesie. Wait, what? I'm confused. Something about oh, a onesie. Oh, uh, tongue punch said, "Can we put Muri X Bob in that?" Onesie? Oh yeah, no, yeah, we we totally do. Hello, Ice Chamber. Hi there. And we're waiting on Josh to get changed now because Muri X Bob is an evil person. Mostly because he wants to trigger the onesie fighting art. There's which... a onesie fighting. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Murex Bob made it. It's uh, it, it's oh, I forget what it's called again, but it uh, gives you plus evasion and plus strength or accuracy. Something so wait, like that. you said that he made it. How do you make a fighting art? So you can redeem your uh, points, your stream element points that you're getting, and how do you earn points? You earn them by watching. Every minute that you're watching, you're earning points. Uh, whenever you uh tip or uh, throw bits, you get points as well. And then you could gamble in the chat, too. There's the slot machines, and now there's roulette, apparently. There's roulette? Like, apparently. Uh, but you can uh, redeem those points to do stuff to modify the game, such as naming survivors, uh, creating fighting arts, hunt events, disorders, uh, settlement events, a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, that's going to allow you to modify the game, tweak it a little bit, and, oh, God, here comes Josh and his onesie. <laughs> I least... like so I I get the view of him walking out with it on where it's like half buttoned down and he's got all of his chest hair poking out and it is just the sexiest thing ever. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, right, but does that work since this is a special showdown? Ice Chambers is TP. I don't see anything that says why it wouldn't. Ice uh, Ice Chambers is TP. Glad your voice is back. These two need someone to keep them in line. Oh no! Unfortunately, I won't be back for long. Back to the salt mines for me. Uh, salt mine. There's a joke. <laughs> Josh, stop knocking things over. That's that's Josh for you. Okay. Is he strutting? He <clears throat> yes, is he is strutting. strutting. He's, He's strutting like a like a chicken during like mating season. Like licking his finger and like putting it on his tush and then like making a sizzle noise. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, oh, you didn't see that. That wasn't his tush. Ooh, Ooh. that's awkward. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Salt mines. I thought that's when we add Slenderman to the campaign. <clears throat> are you ready? No. Oh, are you? You're still he's still muted apparently. I mean, you're looking good there, Josh. Let me just hold on. Your horn's a little floppy there, buddy. All right. I should be back from outer space. Are my horn's like semi see through. It's a ghost horn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ghost. 
Christmas time. <laughs> I broke that. <laughs> I start lying. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, ghost horn. Uh, ghost of corn. Jesus. Okay, ghost of corn. Are you ready to get this road on the show? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Tech priest just said, wait, TP is leaving? Has she really been replaced by a gamepad? Are no jobs safe from automation? Why don't you ask Matt, who is a mechanical engineer? And Josh, who's the programmer. Blame them for all your troubles. You specify more that I'm a robotics engineer, so that's like even more automation stuff. Uh, Josh, are you still playing the double onesie fighting art survivors? Yes, I am. That's why he's dressed like this. And because Murex Bob just likes seeing him in this. I can't blame him. It's just, yeah. it's it's a it's a look. It's the new look of the season. James thank Franco, you thank you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ice Chamber says we want TB, though. Soft, pliable, and hairy in all the right places. Ew. Just, ew. Ghost, Ghost horn. Horn. <laughs> I, no, I'm just, I'm it's, not even. It's green screen a lot more than normal. That's what she said. All right, so what survivors are we all taking out? Um, Twitch is going to take out the one, the only, Kirkadolander. 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 What are you taking out, Matt? Uh, I'm taking out Matt is awesome just because, you know, come on. You got to. You, yeah. you got to. Uh, I got Gormbait and Hopeful. And uh, let's talk about gear a little bit. Uh, Matt is awesome. I'm playing with basically just the starting cloth armor. I've got a rawhide headband on. And I've activated it with the cat gut bow. So I got some range going for me. Thank you, Comatose Turtle! Cool. That is a uh, fucking awful name. <laughs> <laughs> you see what they said? No, no. Uh oh, I don't know where to go. TP, can you read that before you leave? What Comatose Turtle said. Thanks for my KDM fix, you guys. I was sent to the East Coast for work just as my copy arrived. I'm keeping sane only by watching videos like this and by building and magnetizing all of my figures. That's fantastic. That's amazing. <laughs> Your name is just awful in the best way. No, it's, 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 it's kind of like tongue punch my fart box. It's like fantastically <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you do realize that it's now quoted as you saying tongue punch my fart box. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> You said it, not me. No context. All right, so we are going to fight the butcher. So we've got that set up, and I can do this. This is so awesome. I've, this thing's great. It's what did bot. you do? I didn't see you I've, do. I've got a button. I changed scenes. Just like that. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Whoa! So we are ready to go fight the butcher. It is. He's he's come to the settlement. He's come to uh, to come try and beat us up. And we said, no! Two, not on. <laughs> Get out of here, TP. <coughs> so, uh, let's talk about gear a little bit quickly. Oh, I didn't. Uh, do I have to read that? You could. I should. Have a little flavor. There once was a man who could not hide his fear. He wore a mask that transformed his cowardice to rage. Do a rage face. Urgh. In turn, the man transformed into a monster. With a ghost horn. All that remained was a devouring fury that stalked the night, collecting the fearful faces of others. Thank you, chat. Oh, and it's on the monster's gorm. That's right. Yep. Oh, the bleed token is still there. Let me go and edit that out. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Look at that. I did it. I did it. I did uh, it. TP, can you change the crest icon? That's the only thing Matt can't do from where he is at. Oh, you got to fix that, buddy. We'll fix it soon enough. What's his life? Uh, well, the butcher is going to have a total of um, 13 health. So he's got 7 basic, 5 advanced, and... Uh, toughness? You know, the one nothing. Uh, toughness is going to be 9. He's a toughie. Movement of only four, of only 5, so he's, he's okay. just as fast as we are. But we've got dash now, so we could run away and be like, no! Right. Anything else I need to update on him? Or I think you know, I don't think so. Everything else should be uh, zeros. And that's all good. Show for that real quick. I will certainly try. And we'll be ready to go. So, because I forgot to build the AO deck. Oh, Josh. So we've got the uh, the one stone column terrain card set up. That's the three columns on the field. Uh, and we've got one random terrain, and that's going to be the survivor's corpse. Right, Josh? Yep. And that's set up uh, right over here, just as a show that's one of the columns there 
And those are the other two columns there. So the board's fairly barren for the butcher fight. If you haven't done it before, this is, this is how it's set up. Uh, we are ready to get going. As for weapons, uh, I started saying it before. I've got the cat gut bow. To which you guys have the bone club. So you're going to have a 265 weapon. So two speed, six plus accuracy, They're five also training fist strength. And tooth. They're training fist and tooth. But a reminder, the bone club is cumbersome, so you cannot move and attack with it. But... Since we have dash now, you can dash. Yep. So that's one nice thing there. You've also got almost a full rawhide armor set. You've got some dry decandus and some monster grease. Josh, what weapons do you have? Uh, I got the uh, rib blade and the lion beast guitar. Okay. So let's show off some of the uh, traits that the butcher's going to have. First up is... Wait, he start. Do you always have berserker? Berserker! Draw plus one AI every monster turn. So he's going to do two AI cards just because he's a jerk. He's a very mean jerk. Uh, what else do we have? We have fast target. At the beginning of each monster's turn, reshuffle the hit Butcher's Hit Location deck. That's nice. This yeah. is a good card. I, I don't... The less chance of you getting... Hey! TP. You didn't hear that? You just start playing a video. She's so completely zoned out. Yeah. Um, so fast targets, nice. Less chance of you hitting the uh, the trap card there. Dreaded trophies. It's going to be as he's killing us, which hopefully he doesn't. It's going to give him some buffs. So at one death, all attack profiles gain bleed one after damage. Uh, for two deaths, he's going to gain a movement and a speed token, and then at three deaths, plus two damage. So he gets harder the more of us he kills. Sucks to be against him when he's killing you. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, Dynalange. Dino Lang. I think that might. I think we have a giveaway now. Oh. I think it's giveaway time. Oh we'll do. I mean, we'll see at the end of the stream, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're there. Uh, and then finally, we have Infectious Lunacy. So this is when you suffer brain damage, gain lunacy tokens equal to the damage suffered. When you have three plus lunacy tokens, remove them all and suffer frenzy. So this is a reminder that we want to use our survival. Yeah, and then chat us. Did we bring all our best characters for this at the end, right? We did. Yeah, we did. With no bandages. No bandages. Oh, we didn't bring We got them. it. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be fun, guys. It's going to be like mushrooms. Fun guys. You get it? Yeah, fun guys. That's it. That's it. We, uh, we're going we're gonna to do it, right? So. RIP this run. We'll, we'll do it. All right. We'll be okay. RIP in peace. So wait, shouldn't uh, Crocs yes, be should. at two evasion? Yeah, I got to update a couple stats on the survivor. So Nemesis encounter here. Departing survivors do not have a hunt phase. Instead, select the butcher's monster level. Should be one greater than the last butcher encounter and set up the showdown accordingly. So the butcher, there's no hunt phase. We're just going to start with the uh, showdown. And since we are defending our home turf, we get to go first. So that's the nice thing. And so Axiom the Great saying, we are so, so, so dead. I don't know about that. I think we've got a good chance, guys. Uh, we have actually a lot of strength going on in our survivors right now. So I think that we're going to be pretty set with that. And uh, despite the lack of bandages, I think we'll be able to handle him. Scragglefoot! Scragglefoot. Thank you, Scragglefoot. Uh, you should update the notes when you get a chance to. If you have any notes to make. So it's it's the it's the start of our turn now. Let me... Oh, thank you, thank you. Ice Chamber have, for the cheer. I don't think I have any notes from right now. Oh, he's got Stark Raven. Oh, and he's got Rhythm Chaser. Yep. Oh, yes, you're going to get another evasion from that. So Rhythm Chaser. Thank you, Transcendent. Uh, did you know... You get a free <laughs> transcendent. You are awesome. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a hundred fifty subs. Oh yeah, Rhythm we're gonna chaser. we're gonna get those subs. Um, you don't um, get what? anything. I'm just looking t tokens and all that stuff. I'm um, what? Just looking. Oops, I just hit my thing. <laughs> I just hit my thing. That's all right. Painful. Um, so we got that. I think we are set up. Uh, did you put your armor up, reset your armor? Uh, why would I do that? I don't think I got hit last time, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't get hit last time. Granted, you know, I'm the bow guy. I'm just, uh, so also, on arrival, we have arrived, right? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get everyone with the stone noses, which is myself, Twitch. Can I have another pencil, please? 
noses. Uh, uh, do either mind. of your characters have stone noses or no? Um, one of my characters has stone noses. And so we're all going to get plus one survival and plus one insanity. And our uh, max survival limit is five, six. correct? It's up to six now. Oh, is it? Um, and we get plus one survival on depart now anyway. So, so we all have the max survival. Uh, not all of us. I only have four here because I don't have much that... Uh, well, myself and Twitch both have the max of six. That's definitely... Yeah, Gormbait is not at max, but everyone else is. All right, so uh, are we ready I to I bet begin? someone dies before the end, maybe two. No bandages is tough, yeah. Yeah, yep. no bandages is tough. All right, so I think I have everything up to date. Survival's up. Ready? Ready to get this party started? That was a really lame high five. It was. I feel kind of bad about it. So who wants to go first? Uh, Hopefully always goes first. Oh, it's our turn to go first. It is our turn to go first, but who wants to go first? Um... I can't update. So Josh is updating the update sections. Which sections. I don't know. I just saw update with some section. But that's Josh's job. Let me know when you need an update. I'll update. So. Um, oh, they actually have plus four more evasion. Yeah. They should the, be at freaking five evasion. That's ridiculous. So six, how in the hell do they six have... Six evasion. How in the hell do they have all that evasion? How the hell... They have two natural evasion. They have two natural evasion. They have one evasion from Rhythm Chaser. Rhythm Chaser. They've got another one, one evasion from the, the rawhide, rawhide set. set and one from the monster. So it's five evasion. Survival. Five oh, evasion. Oh, I thought I updated the six. Thank you. So you guys have five evasion. So, yeah. So I can search the survivor over here. Okay. So red. start it out with that. Because otherwise I can't really... So, well, give me the card. Let me put three. it in. Josh rolled a three. What does a three mean? And a three is uh, gain plus two insanity and one random basic resource and then archive this terrain. It's not too bad. The weapon's wrong, Josh. It needs to be two, six, five. Um, you guys are fist and tooth in for the most part. You guys will be going back and forth between the two. So yeah. So we'll, we'll let you guys know. But you're doing fist and tooth training, so I'm going to say you guys are. So why is it a six for fist and tooth? Because they have, so that's two, oh, six, two six. Oh, they two, had six, the uh, they had the axe. Yeah, sorry. I'll update it to the club then. All right, here. Thank you, Chad. Two six five. Two six five. Okay. All right. So I got a broken lantern. Okay. It's like the worst thing to grab. It sure time. is. Because we're just gonna get a bunch of scrap anyway. Yep. <sighs> All right. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Um, I will. This goes away. Yep, that does go away. And I'll move a little bit closer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many spaces away am I? I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces away. You can dash and then shoot your arrow or shoot your bow. It's cumbersome. So Yeah. So I'm going to dash. I'm just going to move two spaces forward. So I'm going to use one of, my, uh, one of my survival. I dropped down to five survival. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot the bow. So I need to... You, there's one die on the board, Josh. There's a bunch of die on the board, Josh. It's not looking. I just wasn't looking. So I'm going to roll two dice. I have a... Uh, it's a seven plus accuracy for the bow. Okay. Seven plus. Five and a ten. So I got a perfect, perfect hit. hit. Do I get anything on a perfect hit? I do not. And you hit his impervious <sighs> location. You I... gain plus one insanity. Yay. I As get... he knocks away your arrow with his cleavers. Okay. So nothing happens. That's the end of my turn. All right. So uh, do you want to go next, or do you want Twitch to go next? Um, How do you feel? I'll let Twitch go first. <laughs> uh, so Twitch is one, two, three, four, five. Six. They need to move six spaces in order so to hit. Dash. They need to move and dash, which means that they won't be able to use the Bone Club. Ice Chamber, hey, next time we depart, can we use the bow? Asking for Fen, because Fen says you need to stop using the bow on your little baby. <laughs> uh, and why do you guys, why don't you guys have the, we do have the Alistair model, but we do have a purple one, which we use for Twitch. Yeah. And Alistair is yellow. Yep. You don't have any bugs. And uh, we do not have a circlet. Oh, I thought, I read that as cricket. No, that's a circlet. Um, uh, yeah, a circlet. So um, you guys can dash, then jump in, and then try to punch him in the butt. Yeah, you can't hit with the bone club. I would assume that you want to punch it. So let's put him in the blind spot. All right. So we need them to roll D10. No. Two D10s. Two D10s. I was going to say they're re in their survival, but they don't have a they full, don't have full set. armor set. Put him in the left cheek, Josh. Do what's right. Okay. 
So uh, a four and a one. Those are those are horrible rolls. Those are yep. two misses. Two misses. So what did they need to hit? They needed a five plus. Really? Why a five? It's a six. They have six actually. No, they're not using the bone club. Oh, the uh, fist uh, two. seven plus. Because it's eight plus and they're yeah. in a blind spot, so it would have been seven plus. Yeah, seven plus. Sorry. So would have you needed seven plus? You didn't get anywhere close to that. Yep. Whoopsie doody. Right, I'm gonna dash. Dashing through the snow. I use my survival. Using all your survivor. So let's get you in the blind spot then. Yep. Okay. So you're going to punch it in the butt. I'm gonna use my guitar. Your guitar. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you need to roll to hit? Uh, six plus. And no. You a f- five plus. You rolled a four and an eight, so you got one hit. And what did you hit? You are hitting the Furious Scrag. You got the Death Blow card here. The one critical location here. Oh, yeah. And I have the Crit Build on, so... Oh, do you really? Wait, hold on one second. That's, That's a, a two. two. That was a great roll there, Josh. Um, I have one, four, four strength. So that is not a wound. So that's six total. Yeah. He is nine toughness. Yes. So unfortunately, that doesn't work. Ramp, ramp. So we that was a pretty burr, burr, burr. that was a miserable first round for it us. It was. We just went. Uh, How did we go? Uh, there, uh, you look like a pony. <laughs> All right. So I mean, it is now uh, the monster's turn. Unfortunately, whose monster? Ghost is horn. Ghost kind of makes me look more horseish than pony than unicornish. Uh, first, beginning of his turn. Who's he monster? reshuffles? Oh, they hit location. Deck. Hit location. You're deck. right. You're right. And uh, hopeful is starting out as monster controller. Because you're the tank? Yeah, because I'm the tank. All right. First card. Another enemy. Hot start. Yeah, it sure is. So how about the Butcher's Roar? All non-deaf survivors. Uh, we're going to need a D10 rolled for each target. So I'm going to need four D10s, and we're going to have one, two, three, four. So that's a two. The first one's a miss. Second one's a hit. Third one's a miss. Yes. And the last one, one more, guys. A miss. So the only one that got hit was Twitch. Okay, so they get knocked down. Uh, four plus are going to take one brain damage and are knocked down. So Twitch is knocked down. They're going to get a brain damage, and they're also so going to get, get a... an infectious lunacy token. Okay. So they are down to... So please reduce their... Uh... They're down to five? Yeah, Five uh, insanity. Yep. So that's not the end of the butcher's turn. You guys will eventually get back up. Um, the right, I they should. did have rhythm chasers, so they're going to lose one of their evasion. Oh, damn, that sucks. Yep, you do lose your evasion. Ain't nothing going to keep you down. Yeah, you guys are tub thumping. But it's not the end of it, guys, because the butcher has got berserker. Can you please give me another AI card, Josh? So how about Hugh? Hugh, 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 Hugh. Closest threat facing. Not facing anyone. Closest threat. That's actually going to be you. Yep, that's helpful. So it's gonna, he's going to turn around, and right. he's going to attack. He needs to roll 1d10. So 1d10. How much evasion do you have, Josh? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. And it's a 3+, plus. that's an 8+. plus. They rolled a 2. That's a miss. <laughs> Nothing happens. So, monster sucks. You s- Screw you. I know, Ice Chamber. I dropped the ball there. We'll get back to it again, I promise. Uh, Back to our turn now, though. Yeah. Okay, so the Butcher's doing just as bad as us. Yeah. That's good. We're both both warming up now. Yeah. We're we're just like, it was, we're just feeling each other out. So now let's go again. Who wants to go first? Uh, Matt, you want to shoot first? Might as well. I'll shoot. So, seven plus to hit. I rolled an eight and a nine. That's two hits. That's better than I thought I would do. No more. Uh, seriously, another impervious. <laughs> same two top cards as last time, and I shuffled. How is that possible in the <laughs> same order? I don't You're know. a lying jerk. I did the shuffle. same two cards. So the impervious. I'll just say that that gets resolved first. I'm not going to roll a die for it. I get plus one insanity. I'm up to seven insanity, which yay. And then next up, the furious scrag. I'm attacking this. This is the death blow card. I have uh. Three natural strength and three strength on my weapon, so I need to roll a three plus to damage the monster. I rolled a six, so Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I did a damage, a damage. That's how it's done, guys. Yeah, Josh it shouldn't be allowed to shuffle. It's just, it's just Josh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a survival to stand up Twitch. 
because, like I said, they got knocked down, but they'll get up again. So here's the thing. Who? Stu you I, them I stood up Twitch, yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. I just started a giveaway for the KDM giveaway. Okay. And it is subscriber only. What giveaway is this? It's going to be KDM signed item. For what? For the 150. Oh, 150 okay. subs. Okay. 150 subs. Yep. Um, so here's the thing. Twitch can go. They could either stay where they are, use the bone club, and smack it in the face. They could run to the butt and punch it. Or you can maybe run to the butt, and then he'll have a reaction that turns himself around, and then they'll be in prime yeah, butt position. Let, let me go first. Thank you, Ice Chamber. So you're going to go first and run to the butt, I'm yeah. assuming. Okay. So you're going to go padoop, 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 padoop. So please, let's see what you... Well, what are you attacking with? I'm attacking with the Lion Beast guitar. So you need a... It's uh, a 7 plus. You're in the blind spot, so it's a 6 plus. You don't have any plus accuracy? Plus 1 accuracy, so, so it's, it's a, a 5 plus. plus. So how about a 5 and a 3? That's one hit. It's a good thing you're wearing your onesie. And you're attacking the Butcher's Mask. So, please wound this. That's a that's 2. A two. You that's did not, not a wound. wound you suck. You're awful. So failure. Oh, this has a failure reaction. Yeah. Uh, the butcher effortlessly shoves the attacker away. Full move towards the attacker. If the butcher ends its movement adjacent to the attacker, they suffer knockback five. It doesn't say turn to face. It just says full move towards. Fine, I'll leave him I don't know. I'm just... I personally... Yeah, I, would, would... I would think he would turn... Like, he's coming to face me and it pushes oh, me away. Okay, we'll like, go with that. That's Thema how I read that. Thematically, it makes sense. So, Twitch, you guys are in the butt now. And Comatose Turtle's asking what the giveaway is. Uh, it's going to be a signed KDM item. We haven't pulled out which one yet. Yeah. It will either be a miniature or dice. So, you guys, uh, it is going to be Twitch's turn right now. You're in left cheek, prime smack in position. Do you want a fist and tooth, or do you want to use your bone club? This is an opportunity for you guys to use the bone club because uh, it's cumbersome. Yeah. And you, didn't, you don't have to move. And they could do some nice damage. You could. You could definitely do some nice damage here because you have uh, three natural strength and your weapon's got five strength, so you would need to roll two plus. So, guys, just say in chat whether you would want to use your fist and tooth and go for the proficiency or uh, the Bone Club and go for that sweet, sweet damage. Um, you can. There is a limit to how many tickets you can buy. And uh... So I'm seeing one for the Bone Club, one for the Fist Bug. Use that link and you can kind of see what you're doing. Bone Club. I see another Bone Club. Let's give it just a few more. Oh, bone Club. Fist it. Oh, boy. I, th I think they should do Bone Club. They do need to get a Fist and Tooth, though, but like, if he moves next turn, you're going to move and punch it. Like, yeah. like every time you have to chase him, you're not going to really get a chance to... Get that damage. And it looks like Bone Club is winning out by a little bit. So we're going to do Bone Club. So I'm going to need two D10s to be rolled. You guys are going to hit on a 2+. plus, Or no, you're going to hit on a... It's a 6+. plus. You've got no... Plus. It's a 5+. plus. Yeah. So they got a 6. So... And a 1. They got one hit. Yeah, they got one hit. One of two. So you guys are attacking the Furious Shoulder. So Furious Shoulder, that's a reaction there. So let's let's get that damage in. Let's see. Hopefully you get some damage. That's a four. four. That's, a, that's, that's a hit. More than it's enough. It's a wound. They have three strength. That's five. That's eight. They needed to roll two plus. Yeah. So please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, but. Oh, I got to update on the overlay too. But Reflex, the Butcher spins violently, uh, smashing everything around it. Uh, so, all survivors in the zone of death, which is all spaces directly around the monster, including diagonals, which, Twitch, you are the only ones in, uh, are going to suffer bash and knockback five. So, you're going to get knockback one, two, three, four, five, and you're knocked down, but you'll back, you'll get back up again. Yeah. Never going to keep them down. Never. But right. apparently, you guys like napping on the job. Yeah, something like that. So, the last person, Josh, you are the... You haven't gone yet, either. Yes, I have. I was the first one to go. Oh, you were the first one to go? Yeah, and I wounded the monster. All right. I'm going to go... I'm going to go in the butt. Take my rib blade... <laughs> that's a oh god shove it somewhere nice <laughs> uh, that's a 7 and what did you need to hit uh, 5 Less plus seven. Well, 4 plus I have actual natural accuracy on this guy I don't know how it happened but I think you got that on your uh, first age roll no I think I got it on nickname oh yes you yeah, did I rolled you rolled a 10. a 10 on nickname so I got 1 hit and you're attacking the furious vambraces so what do you need to wound uh, that's a three. We're I have rolling five. Really, really low. I have natural one strength. That's nine. So that's a nine. That's just that's enough. Just enough. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. You get to ignore that reaction there. And uh, we've all gone, which means that it's now going to pass to the monster's turn. So, shuffle that hit location deck, please. 
And uh, how much damage did we do to him in total? We did three oh, damage. Three time, damage. Right? I need to update his life one more time. So he's down to 11. And Twitch is the monster controller now, right? Yeah. Name a survivor. Point of view playthrough. Can't wait to see what that is. When we make, when we eventually go around to making some babies, we're gonna have a nice right. backlog of baby names. First up. So first of the two, we've got Wild Carve. So that's closest threat facing. So it's gonna be hopeful. Yeah. Which I got to zoom out. You you got pushed all the way back there. So he's gonna come after you. Um. You can dash and get out of way, out of range. I just have to dash one, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have to dash one space away. Like, the chances of it hitting me are, like, slim. To none. But you don't want the bleed. And the after effects are kind of nasty. Yeah. Oh, so you have a chance. You, you would get two bleed if he hit you there. If he hit me. But that's bad. But the other thing is, like, he's going to run away from all of you, and you guys are going to get, like, impossible to get to me. Me, 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 me. I could also run towards him so he doesn't move. That's up to you. It's your call. I would be able to dash and still be in range to shoot him. Uh, Red would be able to hit him too, so Twitch would be the only one out of range. Um, I am gonna. Uh, I'll dash it, away or towards. Oh, away. Okay. Um, and I want to go at a little bit. Yeah, that. Um, just move me over a couple spaces that way. To uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. So if he comes this way, then it's easier for you to hit him. Oh, look at you being smart pants, Mister Smarty Pants over okay. here. You don't want to get hit. Okay, that's bad. All right, so he's still going to go after move. me. Yeah, so he's going to move his five whole spaces. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And Fen's going to kill you for touching the I know. Seven. I thought about that as I'm touching it. And then he's going to go again. Who, Fen? Uh, the butcher. butcher. So what is the butcher doing? The Axe butcher. City. Thank you, Daemonicon. Thank you for the sub. So, Hack City. Hack City. Hack, Hack City. So closest threat facing. You again. Yep. So, this is a lot of... Oh, oh yeah. boy. Oh, this is a good one. Aren't you glad you didn't have to dodge the other one? Yeah. Like, that's that's the one Solus you have to take here. So, he's going to run up and get all up in your grill. One, two, three, four, five. I have five evasion, so it's going to hit me only on a nine plus. So, we okay. need four D10s to be rolled. Four D10s. There's a button for that. So, four D10s. You need a nine plus there. That's a five. A three. A one. And a six. You're fine. That's fine. It'll be fine. You're fine. Or fine. But I just survived Hack City. You did. If the target survives Hack City, legendary lungs. Okay. That was a really easy Hack City survival <laughs> right there. It was, it was really easy. I mean, granted, you've got a ridiculous amount of evasion for this early I in the do. game. I do. But... Uh, J H I J K no L legendary oh legendary lungs here we go the sensation of the butcher's attack is similar to drowning desperately you gasp for air only to be met with a mouthful of steel so the monster's attacks rain down on you each blow faster than the last despite the attack lasting only a moment things seem to slow down you feel numb and isolated as if trapped in an endless body of water there is no hope of escape just pressure from above on your gra gasping lungs. As the pounding in your chest intensifies, you recall the even rhythm of the monster's heaving chest. There's a chance you will learn something. So, Josh, we need a D10 to be rolled. I will let chat roll for me. You're going to let chat roll it for you? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens. A two. Sadly, your mind is simply adrift, lost somewhere between the physical pain and the fear of further punishment. You learn nothing. Okay. Uh -huh. You learn nothing! When does giveaway end? Uh, we'll be pulling that at the end of the stream. Yep. So, But for now, like it's still open for y'all to enter. Yep. All throughout the stream. So Hack City's there. I could try to get that again and try to get Legendary long. You want to try to game Hack City? <laughs> Slightly. I mean, okay. That's a thing. As long as I don't get knocked down, I'm okay. Because you'll get up again. Never going to... Why chat has been rolling? I don't know. <sighs> We've been rolling thought... like shit, too. So it's like... like I... Uh, that that would have actually worked, but That's whatever. Nice. Yeah, uh, I don't so think... the finisher roll, I, I don't think it's worth it. No. Like, the benefit, like, Secret Fighter is, eh. Yeah. That's more for, like, a death thing. I All right. Take off the hood a little bit. It's getting so, toasty. it is back to... Us. No. Yes, that's his second. So, yes, it's back to us. So, um, 
if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, I'll be too far away. I can't hit. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I did my math wrong. You moved an extra space away. That's why. You were like, no, move me more. It's fine. It'll be fine. All right. I'm going to go punch it in the butt. Okay. Which cheek? You can only get to one. I only got the one. I can only get the right cheek. So what, you're punching in the butt? Uh, I'm using my guitar. Your guitar. That's two hits. Six. Do you have anything for perfect hits? Uh, I do not. Hmm. He doesn't want a game hack city. He wants the hack hack city. So which one are you attacking first, Josh? We've got the uh, furious bellow and the thick cape. You're attacking the thick cape first. So the hold on, there's some flavor text here. The butcher's cape is decorated with the shriveled, screaming faces of its victims. You rolled a three, six, seven. Nothing happens. So reflex, the attacker rolls a d10. Josh rolled a d10. Is that higher than your courage? Yeah. You suffer brain damage equal to the monster's level. So take a brain damage and give yourself an infectious lunacy token. It could be worse. And then now you're attacking the furious bellow. So, Furious Bellow, please roll a d10. And what do you need to wound? You are rolling like garbage. I am rolling like garbage. Three. Another three. The butcher, yeah, the butcher. The butcher uh, unleashes a deep guttural roar. Unless the attacker is deaf or has three courage. Nope. I have two courage. They suffer brain damage equal to the monster's level and are knocked down. So you're uh, knocked down. I just lost my evasion tokens. Yep. Good job. All right. Um, I will move. No, move, move right closer. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, scoot me over one instead. Yeah. Okay. I will throw my bone dart at it. Oh, you have enough range for that, huh? What do you need to hit? Uh, I'm gonna need a s five plus. Five plus. That's, That's a nine. nine. That's a hit. Finally, a good roll. And you're attacking the furious greaves. So please, roll d10. That's a, a ten. ten. That's definitely a wound. A wound. Uh, so please reduce the monster's life total by one. And reflex full move towards the attacker. Uh, don't move if already adjacent. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Yep. And look at that. I'm in, uh, You're I'm in range, range now. now. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to move a couple spaces, yeah, but... but that's fine. I'll dash. Uh, I will move forward. One, two, Twitch gets three up now, right? spaces. Yeah, Twitch gets up now. And I will uh, shoot at the monster. So I'm going to roll 2d10. It's going to be a 7 plus. It's a 1 and a 9, so that's one hit. One hit, one Super dense hit. location. Ay, ay, ay. I'm getting all the fun stuff. So I'm attacking the armored pig shoulder. I need a two plus to, a 3 plus to wound. Okay. How about a 4? That, that's a wound. 4 is a wound. So reduce the monster's life total by 1. What are we at? I believe we're at 9. That's not bad. It's going slower than I anticipated, but it's going. Uh, and then Twitch, how close are they? They need to move actually, one, two, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twitch could actually reach the monster and punch it. Okay. So I'm assuming they want to dash. That you guys want to dash, and you've got max survival right now, so you might as well. Um, let me know if that's something you don't want to do, but I'm gonna assume that that's that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna move you guys one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just to get you as close to the butt as possible. Because why not? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to give it like five more seconds here to see if I have any objections to using the the dash. I don't think that that's the case, though. I think they want to uh, punch it. I mean, who doesn't want to just punch the butcher right in his stupid face? Stupid butcher face. Um, I don't... I, I'm assuming that it's a, a song. I just can't get it in my head. Um, friends. Uh... Friends. Gar uh, garbage cat. Garbage cat. Oh no, it's Smelly Cat. Or Smelly, smelly Cat. cat. Uh, I was go. close though. You are. You are. So uh, let's get some D10s. I don't here. even watch that show. So that's an eight. That's definitely a hit. That's a hit. And a five. That's a miss. So one hit. Did you just make a friends reference and Josh said that he doesn't watch that? I made a friends reference. Our chat made a friends. I understood the reference. The reference. Yeah. Somehow. Smelly Cat. So your guys are attacking the cat. furious gut. So we're gonna need a D10 to be rolled. And what do they need to wound, Josh? High, a ten. A ten. That's a crit. It's a wound. Well, I mean, it's not a crit. It's, 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 a, a, it's a wound. So, Butcher's knocked down. Ooh, doesn't matter. All survivors all gain plus one courage. So butchers knocked down. We're all going to gain plus one courage. Uh, hopeful just hit bold. Okay, so let's courage you up then. 
So since you got it uh, during the uh, showdown. I got stalwart. Stalwart. So you can't be knocked down by brain trauma or intimidate. So that's nice. And bold. How about you roll some d10s for bold, Josh? Or do you want chat to roll for you? Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll this time. Okay. Chat. That's a ten. That's a ten. Gain plus one permanent speed. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the monsters knocked down. We all get our courage. That's really nice. Yes. And then myself and uh, Twitch were, we're both do at a wound. four courage. And yeah, you do a wound too. That's important. I wish that this was earlier, just because now the monsters knocked down. It makes hits easier. But unfortunately, you know. Um, no, they have now hit with their fist and tooth. So they don't need to use it anymore. So they will get their specialization. Or so they'll get their weapon proficiency. Yeah, so they could stick to Bone Club now if they need to. Yeah. If they want to. Uh, then it's the end of our turns, though, right? Yeah, it is the end of our turns. So the Butcher's going to stand back up. And uh, um, you're going to be I'm home. the Monster Controller now. Hit locations. Hit locations reshuffle. Shuffle. Because he's got the fast target. He goes... I feel like this deck is smaller. It gets smaller and smaller every time we play. That's what she said. No, bad speed kills. Speed is the best stat in the game. No, it's not. No, it's not. <coughs> All right. There's only two A cards left. So how about Lantern Frenzy? Oh, yay. So when Lantern Frenzy comes into play, a random survivor gains the priority target token. Uh... And it cannot be removed for any reason. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> it's probably a finish reroll. <laughs> There's <laughs> ways around it. Um, so we're going to need a random survivor now. So I'm going to ask for a D. Ask for a D5 on a 5 we reroll. Yeah. D5 on a 5 we reroll. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, it's a 5. So one, one more, guys. Five is a reroll because we don't have a D4 chat command set up. We'll work on that for next time. Screw you, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Seriously. <laughs> Just keep rolling. Just keep, please. Keep on rolling. A, a two. two. Okay, so that was one, two. No, you right? said one, no, I did. two. It's, I... You. it's you. No, I, I did not say you that. You said I w one, no. two, three, four. That's did I? yes, you did. Oh, damn, that was stupid. <laughs> I mean, you didn't know it was going to pick you. Uh, so then draw an AI card. When Lantern Frenzy is in play, the Butcher gains plus two movement and plus one speed tokens. At any time, the survivor with the priority target token may sacrifice themselves and lead the Butcher away. They perish and their gear is archived and the showdown immediately skip the aftermath. Discard the Lantern Frenzy uh, if the survivor with the priority target token is killed. I oh, Damn it. One last life, though. Sure. We'll go with that. Can we kill him, guys? I need an AI card. Matt just got upset when he realized it. It picked him. Oh, God. Double hack. It's going to attack me. I'm going to dash. I'm going to run away like a little baby. Where are you dashing to? I don't know, Josh. I don't know. He's getting He gets plus two movement, though, right? Yeah, he's got seven movement now. One, two, three, four. So I need to move three spaces away. No, he is going to pull another. I know. One, two, three, four. Four, five. So I'm going to do that. So he doesn't run over anyone. He's not going to run over anyone, and he'll also still be within range for you. I can't run far enough away that he'll, he won't hit me with the second attack. Yeah. So I'll do that. He'll go to target me, and he'll go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's there. Okay. He's almost that. Yeah. He's, he's getting close, but he's he miss, he doesn't hit me this round. I need another AI card. It could be the like the the intimidate action, right? That should be nice. That that's could be there. Hack City. Oh, screw you, Josh. Just saying, like, why do you have to be a jerk? It is a possibility. If it's Hack City, I'm gonna punch you in your kidneys. Tell me when to stop. I'm gonna fist and tooth you in the kidneys. Tell me when to stop. No, just go. Double hack. That's what it just was. It's not Hack City. <sighs> okay, so he's gonna attack me. I'm going to have him go that way. Okay. Um, Need a chat throw four? Yeah. Two tens. Four friggin' D tens. So I have one evasion because so Josh plus. doesn't give me any gear. Nine, seven, six. Oh, God. Ten. It's four, four hits. It's four hits. Uh, head, head. 
body waste, and he's got plus two damage, plus one damage, right? No, no plus damage. Are you sure? Yeah, he just gets this. Oh, he has plus one speed token though, so he needs one more d10. One more d10, guys. A nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the good rolls went. Okay, roll so the white die. Waste. So waste, waste, body, head, head. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Dark Citadel. And this is one damage at each location. Waste, waste. You take the waste. Uh, I could take all of them. The I'm, I'm going to, yeah, because I have one head armor. Yeah. So it would just knock me down. I don't want to be knocked down, so I'm going to spend a survival to dodge. So I'm going to take uh, one damage to my head. I'm going to take two damage to my waist, so it's going to check my light wounds box. And then I'm going to take one damage to my body. That's going to check my white loot. My. Light and you're gonna get box a well. bleed token. No, I get two bleeding tokens. Two bleed tokens. Sure do. All right. Uh, super excited about these bleed tokens. They feel really good, guys. All right. I think. I think we should have Twitch dash in there and him in the butt. Uh, sure. That works. All right. So Twitch, you guys are one, two, three, four, five spaces away from left cheek. Thank you, Malone. Thank you. Carl Malone. So, Twitch, I'm assuming you guys want to dash uh, so that you can use your bone club and beat the ever-loving crap out of the butcher because you it hurt your friend Matt, right? Right, guys? Luckily, it's level ones, and he didn't have any plus damage. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been much worse. So, I see some left cheek, best cheek in there. So, let's let's have them use one of their survival. They're going to be okay, left down cheek. The floor. And uh, we're going to need two D10s to be rolled. Uh, you guys are going to need a 5 plus in order to hit with the... One and an 8. So one hit. One hit. Impervious. You, you guys are going to gain a survive, an insanity. You don't have to roll. Look at that. Aren't you excited? <sighs> just, I'm just upset right now. I'm just really... I has a sad. Uh, you also stand back up over here, Josh. Okay. I'm going to shoot it. Um, no, I'm not. In case Let, he in case he turns around, yeah. uh, green needs to dash. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, green would need to dash. Use another survival because I can't can't roll over six. Uh, they're asking what's the max ticket limit. I think it's like ten or twenty. I don't remember what the number is. Well, uh, and subscribers' tickets count more. Uh, it's only it's subscriber. Only. Oh, it's subscriber only. Um. I do the higher level sub subscribers count? No, it's not doing anything. Okay, it's just, it's all the same. So Twitch, click the link. Twitch didn't do anything, unfortunately. So Josh, do you want to hit the damn thing? Yeah, hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the hit butt. In the face. Oh yeah, the butt face. Um, I have no accuracy, so it's going to be a six plus. Two. You have plus one speed, right? You're I have plus one speed. So I have three dice. It's a four, a six, and, and a, a one. So you got one hit. One hit. That's fantastic. So you're attacking the Furious Gauntlet. What do you need to actually wound? A four, so five plus. That's good. Three. That's I've rolled a three on every single wound attempt. The attacker locks eyes with the savage uh, horror underneath the butcher's mask. Turn to face the attacker and intimidate. I rolled a two. Uh, nothing happens. Yep. The nice. So that's good though. He turned around, so turned I can shoot you. him in the butt. So I need a six plus to shoot him now. Two and a one. I rolled a one and We're a two. Rolling horrible. I rolled a one and a two. Um, I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna throw a barn dart. That's a miss. Yeah. You rolled a four. That's a miss. Yeah, I need five plus. Cool. You know what I'm probably gonna get right now? Hack City. Isn't that exciting? It's monster's turn. Butcher's Roar! Butcher's Roar. Okay, that's good. Butcher's Roar. So all non-deaf survivors. It's all of us. So roll a d10. So we're going to need four d10s to be rolled. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. One. So miss. Five. Hit. Hit. Eight. Fourth one. Four. Hit. Okay. So the only one that missed was red. So <laughs> The red's good. They Everyone else is going to take a brain damage and get knocked down. So we're all going to get an Infectious Lunacy token. That's good. So Twitch is at two. Actually get that I'm at one. We're knocked down. Maybe we'll get up again. Uh, we take a brain damage. 
You do take a brain damage. Oh, I got to roll you, severe wait, brain wait, injury. Wait. Doesn't one of your characters have stalwart? Yes. So they don't get knocked down because that's an intimidate action. Okay. Yeah. Right. I still, I still have to wait. Take a... Is it? it yes. Is. Yes. 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 Um, I rolled a five on the severe brain trauma. Severe brain trauma. Uh, so someone's asked if they could get a bet going for the uh, the winning hit. Uh, yeah, that was that's up already. Oh, is it? That was yeah. That one was done at the beginning of the fight. So Josh, brain trauma. You got a five. Yeah. What is a five? You know what a five is? I, I don't. I don't know. That's what I was asking you for. A five is danger seizure. You thrash about wildly, dealing one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. So you're gonna deal one damage to Twitch, gain a random disorder, and one d five insanity. So one damage to my head. Why are you getting a damage? I said yourself and all random survivors, right? Oh yes, 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 yes. So, so Twitch, Twitch you need roll. a hit location die. Um, and I get a disorder? Yeah, and you get a I disorder. I can ask Twitch for a disorder. Uh, they're taking one damage to the body, so if you can okay. do that. And then we need a disorder. So, guys, if you could please pull a disorder. And this is going to see what Josh gets. And this takes a little bit. Uh, disorder traumatized. Whenever you end your act adjacent to the monster, you are knocked down. Oh, that's great for the tank. Right? Yeah. That's super. Super de duper. And you get a D5 insanity as well, Josh. Chat, roll that for me real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chat's going to roll a D5 insanity for you, guy, for you, Joshy. And you get a four. You get four insanity. Okay. Um, we also get a to all get tokens. And yeah, infectious lunacy tokens. This is not going too well right now. No, it's not. He's got seven life, but we're all knocked down. No, he should have a, uh, a one, two, three, four, five, six. He's at... He's at six with the mood in play. Okay. So that goes away. He's going to draw another AI card. What is it? Hack City? No, it's Hugh. No, Hugh. Okay. So it's one speed. That's good. So it's a one speed attack. He's still attacking me. Uh, gonna... It's two speed. Oh. He has one natural speed. Fantastic. So we need two D10s to be rolled. It's a three plus accuracy. I've got one evasion. So it's going to be a four plus to hit. Four. And a five. And five. Two hits. So I need two hit locations to be rolled. And this is going to do... Three damage at each location. Hands and body. Taken two severe injuries. You dodge one of them, can you? can dodge one of them. Damn. Is it better to take body or ha hands? Is better to take the severe injuries, right? Yeah, I would do. Yeah. I would do hands. Okay, so I'm gonna dodge the body, and then I'll take a severe injury. Unless you lose an arm, then you can't use your bow. I don't care anymore. <laughs> You're getting a bleed token for the after damage effect. Yep, yep, yep. I rolled an eight. Eight sounds good, right? An eight is spiral fracture. Your arms twist unnaturally, gain minus two strength tokens, skip the next hunt, and gain a bleeding token. One more bleeding token, and I'm dead, guys. One more bleeding token, and I'm dead. Good thing I've got really high strength. So that's nice. All right. Now, it's minus two strength tokens? Yes, not permanent. Oh, oh that's nice. So it's just for the fight, and you skip next on. That's nice. Okay. It's not that bad. Yeah. You know, we have no bandages. Oh, yeah, because we had no hide. Because we're dumb. No, yeah, we had no hide. So it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. All right. Um, I will get Twitch up. Okay, so Twitch is standing. And I still use the survival. Uh, Twitch is attacking now, too, right? Um, yeah. Bone Club? Yeah. 2d10s. Five plus to hit. Oh, this gets to get reshuffled. I see an eight I and a ten. I said ten. Yeah, it's an eight and a ten. Oh, guys, you're just using the emote for Zenith. What? There's a new emote, but you have to be at the ten dollar. Yeah, if you sub. guys are the ten dollar sub, there's a new emote to welcome Zenith to the chat room. Uh, so you guys are attacking the Furious Scrag. So you're attacking the Death Blow card first. We're gonna need one d10 to be rolled. You guys have. Eight natural strengths, so you need a two plus. Seven. That's a wound. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. <laughs> he liked it. He really, really <laughs> liked it. So, that was that one, and now you're attacking the thick cape. So, we need another d10 to be rolled. And let's see how that's going. Oh, boy. A nine. Do they have any plus? It doesn't matter. Luck? Oh, no. Yeah, it's the wrong card. Uh, so. They do another damage. Please reduce monster's life total by another one. And then the attacker rolls a d10. 
If the result is greater than their courage, then stuff and things happen. So one more d10. That's an eight. So that is going to give them a brain damage. And now they're frenzied. They're frenzied. Yes. So you guys are going to get frenzied. What does that mean? It means you're going to get knocked down, but you'll get up again. No, they don't get knocked down. You don't? No, no that's you a don't. You're right. You're right. Yeah, fine. So you're going to gain one d5 insanity. So let's see what that is. Uh, four. So Josh, please give them four insanity. They're going to gain plus one speed token, plus one strength token, and you ignore slow on melee weapons. However, you cannot spend survival. You may not use fighting arts. You may not use weapon specializations or masteries. And this is going to last until the end of the showdown. So you got some perks and some downsides there. Uh, but that is the end of your turn. Uh, Josh, do you want to attack some? Uh, in just a second. So the monster's technically got five life right now, right? Yes or no? Uh, they gain... Uh, they didn't. Uh, it has technically five, but it's at four. Four for us because there's a mood in play. So if you can do three damage to it, I could chuck a founding stone. It's not going to work. Oh, damn, that's right. Founding stones are completely useless. Oh, um, damn, that's right. But I will... I mean, at least stand me up at some point. Uh, I can send you up a corn bait. I already used the... Uh, yeah. You're, you're attacking with Gordon Bait, right? No, I'm attacking with uh, uh, okay. Hopeful oh, okay. in the blind spot. So you rolled, you hit two. I hit two. Okay. Let's get those sweet, sweet hit location cards. Pervious. I hate you so much. Uh, I got the mask. So you're going to get plus one insanity from the impervious. And now you're attacking the butcher's mask. Oh, this is a good one to wound. Please wound it. Hey, that's a wound. It. That's a wound. That's a 10. So the blow shocks the butcher, knocking it off balance. The butcher staggers, gaining minus two toughness until the end of the round. So minus two toughness to the butcher. Please reduce its life total by another one. So guys, uh, you're, you're saying for me to dash, I've got zero survival left. Oh, you have no survival have left? no survival left. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, I did one wound. You did one wound. He's got three-ish life left. Three to four, depending on how things play out here. Yes. Sadly, we can't surge. Yeah, I know. Help me. Um, Help me, Obi Josh Kenobi. You're my only hope. Five. five. You can make it there. And I can make it there. If you can make there. it there, you'll make it anywhere. Uh, I'm going to hit please. on a five, four plus. Okay, four plus. What are you oh, wait, about? I was here? I can take a step back and go here. Okay. Three plus. Three plus. You rolled a two. Words cannot express how much I hate you right now. One. You just killed me. I want you to know two. you just killed me. Yeah, three plus. Oops. Have, um, I will encourage you up. Have I told you lately? Get up, Matt, before you die. You. Okay, I'm just I'm trying to think here. Is minus two toughness till the end of the turn, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think here, though. Hold on. What I can do is I can attempt to hit with my Founding Stone and then run away. No, he's still going to hit me. He's still going to catch me because I can't movement. dash. Yeah, I can't, can't dash. dash. So I got to shoot him with the bow. Okay, so I'll shoot him with the bow. Seven plus accuracy. Two and a six. That's zero hits for Matt. Zero hits. I'm dead. Okay. I'm dead. Do, 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 I'm dead. I'm so dead. It's Butcher's Roar. It's Butcher's Roar. So we're going to need four D10s to be rolled. So let's see what we get. It's going to be one, two, three, four. So what did we get, Josh? Nine, five, one, and a nine. So whoever third was. Uh, Twitch is third. Everyone else. Which is I'm not you're not knocked, knocked down. down. I'm going to be frenzied now. So I'm gonna roll a D five. I get five insanity, so I'm insane as hell. I'm also gonna get frenzied. Oh I did this really bad. What? Fudge. What? I just realized I have cross arm block. Oh, I should have taken have. the severe injury to the body. So that way I can spread out the love more at will. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, so I'm at seven, and I get plus one strength. Yeah. 
and a plus one speed. Okay. So, I'm going to get a plus one strength and speed as well, Josh. If I survive, we should be able to do this, but that's a big if right now. It, it's Hugh. It's Hugh. So, so his cards left are not bad. So it's two speed. If either one of them hits me, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. We need two D10s. Need to be under four. That's eight. an eight. I'm dead. I'm dead. Two. Damn it. Let's see what so happens, close. Matt. close. What do you mean, what happens? Roll your, severe, uh, roll your injury. Oh, man. There's nothing I can do here. No, there's not. It's the hands. Take a severe hand jury. Two. Oh, a two. What's a two? Double death. You die of shock. Your vision fades along with the sight of your mangled armless torso. So he has the priority token, so he doesn't really matter if he's stood or not. Yep. So I'm dead. You're going to shuffle that one card back into his deck. Uh, and um, then he's also going to get a token on the dreaded that? trophies, which is me. So what is the dreaded trophies token? Uh, all attack profiles gain bleed one. Okay. But it already had bleed one on the one, so it doesn't <laughs> double it. Yeah. Uh, so Rebel the Fit, it, it, there's nothing for him to... S there, yeah, there was no reason to re-roll that. Well, you could have re-rolled the monster's attack. I guess. Re-roll the one attack that hit you. Well, re-roll the one attack. Let's... You're gonna die anyway, so it's, it's, a six. it's, it's still a, it's still it's still a wound. Yeah, still a wound. Okay, <clears throat> that's the end of the monster's turn. Mm-hmm. It's our turn. Yeah, yeah. I has a sad. Uh, you wanna have Twitch go first? Sure, we'll have Twitch go first. So Twitch, you're attacking the monster with your bone club. Two d tens, please. Five plus to hit. He's got a four and a and a. Uh, there is one for one. It's all attack profiles gain bleed one, but the two cards left, it, it doesn't matter. Panda bot just die? No, it's there just we go. Me a one. Also. Two misses. Two misses? Two misses. Right, I'm going to encourage. Right, I finally keep my survival. You're encouraging your one character up, yep. so they're going to stand up, and you're attacking, Josh? Yep. Eight. That's a hit. This needs to be reshuffled. Uh, why is Zenith saying plus two? I thought something. I th there's a big rule thing about that where like you can't get double deadly, and there's a big thing about that. I don't. Uh, so you're attacking the furious vambraces. I didn't even know you rolled. What are you? Oh no, red's not dead. We only have one dead survivor. Uh, I have five, six, so I need two plus. You're attacking with what though? Uh, the ribble. The ribble. That's right. Seven. seven. That's a Bam, wound. That's, a that's wound. definitely a wound. So no reaction there. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. <clears throat> oh no! I just I like being overly dramatic. Yep. All right. And then. Uh, oh, Zenon says I'll try to get an official position on this, but I think bleed one stacks. Okay. I thought I don't know what the official was. So um, Red's gonna take a step out. I am going to roll four dice of green. Boop. Because you're frenzied. Because I'm frenzied. Okay. So you rolled a nine, an eight, a one, and a two. So that's two hits. That's not bad. Oh, here's the freaking trap card. You got the tarp card. Tarp card. Everyone's in range of this. Uh, the butcher explodes in a burst of ferocity in the zone of malice. The attacker is doomed. All survivors in the zone of malice gain a bleed token and knock back five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. All of you. And then now perform a basic action targeting the attacker. So he's going to turn around. He's going to run up to you. He's going to do a basic action. Josh, what's the, what's the basic action there for the butcher? Um, this. Um, I didn't remove his speed and movement on there, but it's... Oh, look, the trap card. I'm out. There you go. All right, so the basic is it's going to be two speed for four plus accuracy. How much evasion do you have? Uh, this was green, right? Yes, this um, is green. I have two, three evasion, so uh, seven plus. Two misses, six and a four. All right. You're good. So that's the end of that. Uh, have all the, all the characters have gone now, so it's back to the butcher's turn. So... All right, so monster's first action is Hugh. So Hugh is. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, and so pick target, closest threat facing, so it's between Twitch and yourself. Uh, so I'm assuming you want it to be you, Josh? You forgot to turn your mic back on, Josh. Yeah, I can take it. Okay, so it's going to attack you. It's going to be two, uh, one speed, right? Yeah. Three plus accuracy. You've got four evasion, so it's a seven plus. It's a three. It missed. Isn't green knocked down? No. No. It just said it said knockback. Didn't say yeah. bash. All right. Uh, uh, you guys are not frenzied yet, are they? Yes, they are. When did they get frenzied? A while ago. They were the first ones to get frenzied. Oh. I never get it was a miss anyways, he said. It was a miss, okay. Yeah. So, thank you, chat. Apologies. Oh, yes, you are traumatized. You should have been knocked down, Josh. Oh, okay, yeah, knock me down. So I'm not a threat. So it's attacking Twitch. Yeah. Uh, how much armor do they, evasion do they have? They have just as much. It misses them, too. It's fine. Okay. No change. Thank you very much to Garth Nalio? Yep. Nalo? Yep. Thank you. Uh, so, Monster card? Sec second AI card. Oh, we got rid of the mood. We got rid of the mood. Okay, so Butcher's Roar. So he, now he's just going to be... Brrr. So all non-deaf survivors, we need a D3 to be rolled. No, we need four 3D10s. That's what it is. 3D10s yeah. to be rolled. So it's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3. Down the Five. Line. So that's a hit. Five. A hit. Five. A hit. Okay, so you all are knocked down. That's exciting. Green wouldn't have been knocked down, but he was knocked down because of traumatized. So they're all going to get one brain damage per monster level, so you're all going to also get another infectious lunacy token. Keep that in mind, Josh. Yep. Just gave everyone one. Uh, so here's the fun part. It's your turn. I get, no to one... I get to stand up. Why do you get to stand up? I got up? knocked down at the end of my turn. Ooh. The monster has gone a full round. Ooh. So getting knocked down wasn't a horrible thing. There you go. So you you stand back up. Do you have any survival left? I do. You can't spend it. I can't spend it because I'm friends. Yeah. So you're attacking. What do you need to hit again? A lot. <laughs> A lot. Uh, I need. I have seven. To seven plus. I don't have any. Uh, I have one plus six plus. Six plus. I have four dice. Let's see what you get. Eight, nine, two, ten. So three hits. That's not bad. Trap card? Trap card? No trap card. So what'd you get there, Josh? Um, I got a couple cool things. I got the Deflo card. I might be able to do this. Thick capes. You're attacking the thick cape first. How much strength do you have? I have three, four strength. You have four strength. Yes. So you need... F five. Five strength. You need a four plus then to four wound. Plus. That's a five. five. That is a wound. The attacker rolls a d10. Is that greater than your courage? Yes. You suffer a brain damage. You get an infectious lunacy token. Does that do anything? No, that does not do anything. Okay. So please reduce the monster's life total by one. Okay. Next. I'm assuming that you're attacking the butcher's mask. Yeah, that's... <sighs> so, you're attacking the butcher's mask. Still need a four plus. That's a one. one. You, you suck. Yeah. You suck hard. So the butcher effortlessly shoves the attacker away. Full move towards the attacker. Uh, if the butcher ends its movement adjacent to the attacker, they suffer knockback five. So you're going to get knocked back to the board edge here. Yep. And that's going to immediately end your attack. Despite the fact that you got the butcher's death blow card, you could have done something really awesome, but instead you just suck. I tried. So everyone has gone now because you can't spend survival to encourage anyone. So it's now the monster's turn. So let's get some of that AI card going. Did you reduce the monster's life total, Josh? Um, I did not. I don't. Okay. So, monster's turn. Pilgrim. Hugh, closest threat facing. That's going to be you, Josh. So he's going to run up to you, but in the process, he lands on Twitch. So what happens to Twitch? Knockback five. Knockback five into the stone column. That's it. Nothing happens there. Uh, so Hugh still happens, though. So we're going to need yep. a D10 to be rolled. So let's get a D10. How much evasion do you have again? Uh, Two. It's a 10. It hit you. So uh, you're going to take three damage to a hit location. To your to waist. waist. All right. That knock just knocks me down. And you get a bleeding token. All right. Then we need the next AI card there, Josh. You're holding it. 
Oh, is he in a Hue loop? Okay, so then closest threat, there are no threats, so he's going to Menace now. So what's Menace? So a Menace is, besides Dennis, uh, turn the Butcher to face the closest survivor. This survivor suffers one brain damage per monster level. Who wants to get Frenzied? Does anyone have two Infectious Lunacy tokens? Um, yeah, I don't want to get Frenzied again, though. Why do you not want to get Frenzied? I don't want to roll five dice. And thank you, Ice Chamber. Gormbait has not been frenzied yet. More of a chance for you to get that death blow card, though. More chance to trap. I think I think Twitch I should. Think get I think Twitch should get it because they only get one more token, and they don't get. Hit. I think you're being a pansy. I think Twitch should get it. Damage from hitting the column. They're asking. Uh no, you don't get any damage from hitting columns. Oh no, they suffer one damage. To, oh, they do. Sorry, I forgot that. It's been such a while. It's been a while, but we're back in style. So one hit location. Let's see what you're taking that damage there, Twitch. You can take it like a Twitch. Take it like a Twitch. So you're going to take a damage to the body. So they already have a body. So they need a light. Wait, I can do this. Yep. Um, light body. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I'm so impressed with myself right now. I'm glad that I figured this right. out. So they're down myself. to seven. They take the thing. And the, the butcher's going to turn to face them? Uh, correct. Well, wait, no. Turn the butcher to face the closest survivor. It's but... any of you guys. Yeah, so if they take it... Oh, they you want them to... Yeah. Okay, that's right. Sorry. So it's going to turn to, to face Twitch. It's the end okay. of the monster's turns. now your turn. Everyone's standing up but green. Yes, because I got knocked down during the... So I will go first with the rib blade. Shuffle this. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Four. That's a hit. It's a hit? It's a six plus. Six plus. I'm in the blind spot, so five plus. I plus one accuracy token, and oh. I plus one natural accuracy. So it's a three plus. It's a three plus for me to hit. That's interesting. How did he get five evasion? And thank How you, did Malix. Who get five evasion? Me? I'm assuming Twitch because they Twitch? have five evasion. Um. So they have. That actually might be four now. Yeah. So they had two natural evasion. Because we have survival of the fittest, that's how you got one of them. The yep. other one, I believe, was uh, the bug. The bug, that's right. They have the rawhide armor, which is giving them plus one evasion. Yep. They've got the monster grease, which is giving them plus one evasion, and they have rhythm chaser. So they started out the hunt, or they started out the showdown with a plus one evasion token. Yep. So I need to update down back down to four, and we're gonna drop one hit location. Matt. Oh, look at the trap card. It didn't matter if you got it or not, huh? So the Butcher explodes in a burst of ferocity. The attacker is doomed. All survivors in the zone of malice suffer a bleeding token and knock back five. So everyone's going to get a bleeding token. Everyone gets a bleeding token. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I forgot to add a bleeding token last time for Twitch, so I get to add two bleeding tokens now. Look at all that fun. Uh, and then you guys are going to get knocked back five, so I'm going to go towards the board edge there for them. No, they're going to get knocked back into that. Into what? The terrain again and taking all their damage. But they're already against it. Oh, I get. Yeah, I guess they go. I would assume it acts like the yeah. board edge there. So then this is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So let me zoom out just a hair. Okay. So then it's going to go uh, basic action targeting the attacker. Who is the attacker? Red. It was red. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Basic action targeting the attacker. Uh, we need two D10s to be rolled. Two D10s. So, Chad, if you could please roll two D10s. And what do they hit on again, Josh? Uh, it's going to hit on a five plus. On a five plus. So that's a one. That's a miss. Six plus, sorry. And a nine. That's a hit. So you're going to get one hit on you. So what's the stat on that? It's going to be one hit for... And I will dodge it because I have not gone frenzied yet. Uh, you cannot dodge it. Oh, I am doomed. Damn it. So it's um, one damage. One damage to the waste. To the waste. I have, I have waste. Why armor. the waste? That's what I rolled. Oh, okay. And you're going to get a bleeding token. And I'm going to get a third bleed token. Okay. So let's get in. So now, uh, Twitch can go, right? Yeah. But they can't reach. They can't reach? Nope. I guess have them just run up. Yep, Twitch, you, just, you guys are just going to run into the action. One, two, three, four, five. You're like, hey, guys, we're so close, but we can't help. This is doing uh, doing rough. You can't dash because you are frenzied. You can't use yep. survival actions. Um, Do oh, yeah, it does get yeah. archived. Okay, so Twitch would have actually been back here. Yeah. 
So then they would have went one, two, three, four, five. So you're okay. over here. And thank you again, chat. Thank you. So uh, it's now the end of the you guys use guys' turn. So it's monster's turn. You know what he's gonna do? Yeah, I don't. I, I'm trying to think of that was wait, the best. Wait, it's not the monster's turn yet. You can encourage up green. I could encourage green. See, see. So you're encouraging up green. Green's gonna go in the blind spot. Okay, going in the butt. What do you need to hit? Uh. Five plus? Five plus. How about a ten, a two, a seven, and an eight? That's three hits. One, two, two. impervious. Three. So first, impervious, you're going to get your plus one insanity from that. Then what are you attacking? I'm assuming you're attacking the Butcher's Mask. Yeah, let's do the mask. Okay, so Butcher's Mask first. Josh, you need to roll a d10. And uh, how much damage are you going to need? You need a four plus, I believe? Four plus, I believe. It's a two. two. You suck. You suck so much. So failure, the butcher effortlessly shoves the attacker away. Full move towards the but full move towards the attacker. So he's gonna turn around. He's gonna turn around, and then he's gonna push you, and you're gonna get knocked back five. So one, two. What happens now? Keep going. Three, four, five. Yep, and I'm gonna knock back. Uh, I knock, I knock back him five. He's gonna get knocked back five. Uh, yeah. Player collision. It's in the back of the book. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. Double check that. So, Josh, if you could riff a little bit, please. All right. Let's talk about so all our horrible. That was that was horrible. Can I have the uh, hit location card back? Sure can. So, this fight is just not not going well. No, no, it's not. Um, I'm looking for the collision right now. So just just keep. All right. Just keep roll talking. three, roll three, kill him. Everyone's roll three, and it's really bad. Um, I think it goes back, and uh, want to be a horrible thing. Josh, I've never seen such bad rolls. I know. It's it's horrible. It's just it's horrible all over rolls. Like, we're geared up fine. Everything is good. Just freaking nasty. No, they don't get knocked back. They get collision, so they're knocked down. They're both knocked of down. them are knocked down. Oh, both of them are knocked down. Yep. Okay. So just uh, so you guys know, the exact wording of the rules there is you do the knockback as normal. If survivors would hit it, uh, run into each other, uh, they would suffer collision, and collision is when a survivor suffers collision, they are knocked down. Yep. So Hugh is going to attack red. So he's going to turn around, and he's going to roll 1d10. Let's get a d10 there, guys. The nice thing is this is a 1d10 attack. It's a 5. Is that a hit or a miss? Um, I have one eva two evasion. That's a hit. It's 3+. plus. Plus, I will. I will dodge it. You're gonna dodge it. Okay. He's gonna draw his next AI card. Guess what? Let's Same get, thing. Let's get another one. Rollo, 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 Rollo. Who's a Rollo? An eight. That's a hit. You can't dodge it. You're gonna yeah. take three damage to a hit location. Which hit location? How about the waste? Probably dead here. You're gonna get your junk cut off, dude. Dude. I need a ten plus. It's a six. Uh, it's a six. So what happens on a six, Josh? I don't know, but I'm going to get probably two bleed tokens and die. So a six. <coughs> Destroy oh. genitals! You cannot be nominated for the intimacy story event. This injury is permanent can be recorded once. Gain a random disorder. You are knocked down. So let's get a disorder. I get a bleed. Uh, you do get a bleed token. Uh, I, I get a bleed token from the attack. I'm I dead. know. I just want to see what disorder you got. Just for the hell of it. Um, you cannot gain strength token. But, wait, you can use your lifetime reroll to possibly... You could uh, do the reroll on the monsters roll. That makes more sense. Yes. So we're gonna have chat roll a d10 here. Let's reroll the monsters roll. So it needs to be four or less. It's a three. Oh, three. You're, so you're I don't not, get. I don't get hit. You're not dead. I'm still alive. Rerolls used. You've used your lifetime reroll. Your your junk is still there too. My junk is still there. That that didn't happen. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. We we technically went beyond what we should have, but we yes. we try to keep things moving at a, like a kind of a fast yes. pace. So right. we're gonna say that we use the reroll for that. I I couldn't have done that with me. Yeah, no, I th no, we did do that with yeah, me. Yeah, it didn't work. Didn't work. All right, so we we're good. Yeah. Okay. That's so the end of the monster's turn. That's the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn again. You two stand back up because you got knocked down on your turn. Yes. So you two are gonna stand back up like the jerks that you are. Um. Can Twitch... Twitch can reach. Can, they would have to fist and tooth. Can the meat reach the left butt cheek? 
Excuse me? Can they reach left cheek? Yeah, they uh, sure let's can. Let's put them on left cheek and have them attack. So, Twitch, you guys are going to go on the left butt cheek. Let's have you attack. You have to use your fist and tooth. So it's going to be a 7 plus to hit. And you have them roll three dice? Uh, two dice. I'll just take three. So I see a 6, six a, a four, 4, one more d10. I just want to ask for it. 6 and a 4, and a 4. Those are three misses. I will run up with... Green. Green. Two, three, four, five. Just close enough. The shame frenzy doesn't ignore cumbersome. Just ignore slow. It would be actually that would be really cool if it ignored cumbersome. Five plus. That's two hits. Yeah, you roll. So it's a five plus. You rolled a two, a four, a ten, and an eight. So he's got two hits. So what are you attacking first, there, Josh? This one. You're attacking the furious greaves. So furious greaves. What do you need to wound? A four plus. That's a five. Right, he rolled a five. That's a I hit. Get rid of Hugh. It's a wound. <laughs> So he's got no more AI cards. Reflex, yep. full move towards the attacker. Don't move a far already, Jason. So now you're attacking the Furious Crown. Furious Crown. That's a four. That's, that's a, wound. a wound. The he's monster's dead. dead. He's dead. He's dead. We he's did dead. it. Somehow we friggin' did it. I Not we. Not me. Matt is awesome side. did die. Yeah. I'm not surprised. All right. So. We did it, guys. We did it, fam. Uh, you want to go back to our board? Uh, yeah, Anchor? sure. And uh, I'm going to end this contest. Oh. We, we managed. I don't. That was just. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. <coughs> the victory. The butcher is an inspiration. Any victorious survivor may elite immediately select axe weapon proficiency regardless of age milestones. Oh, yeah. We age up. Any accrued ranks of weapon proficiency are lost when switching. So, level one, butcher. Plus, plus one hunt XP and plus one weapon proficiency level or plus monster level axe proficiency levels, which is still one. Yeah. But as you fight higher butchers, you're going to get bonus to your axe proficiencies, which is really cool. So a crocodile under is going to get uh, it's going to age one level up. No age milestones, though. And they're going to get uh, their second second. I uh, just got weapon um, proficiency for guitar weapon specialization on uh, hopeful. So Hopeful got the Qatar Weapon Specialization. So what does that entail? So the specialization is when attacking with a Qatar, cancel reactions on the first selected hit location. That's solid. Yeah, that's very that's nice. That's very nice. Very nice, yes, yes, very nice. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what's death, death our aftermath? Time, but, you know. um, aftermath. So I just said it. So rewards. Roll a d10 and add the butcher's level to the result. So let's let's get a d10 in there, folks. Let's see what it is. So Six. it's going to be seven total. So we're going to get the Butcher's Cleaver Rare Gear and one Broken Lantern resource. That's exciting. We got the, the Butcher's Cleaver. It's an okay weapon. Let's show it off in chat. It is a 2-5-5. Five, five. Uh, it is a weapon, melee, axe, other. It is paired, so you can use two of them together. And it is sentient. You must be insane to activate and irreplaceable, so when you die, you archive this card. So it is a 2 five, five. I would like to note that Twitch does have Stark Raving, so they are always insane. Might not be a bad thing to give them. Wouldn't be. Because they're they're going for Fist and Two, so it doesn't really matter yeah. which which weapon they have there. But eventually maybe they'll switch over to Axe Specialization. Yeah, maybe. And, you know, beat the crap out of people. So there's that. Uh, so we'll put that over there. Anything else in the book? Uh, no, that's it. All right. So we return back to our settlement. We go back to our settlement. So what happens now? We get a settlement event. So... What happens first, the death principle or the settlement event? Settlement event. Settlement event. There's a couple things that happen first. Okay, so settlement event. Let's you guys choose it. Let's see what we got. Seventh. This is really cool. This board is just phenomenal. Convent. Really? We're doing a convention again? Again. Oh, Lights in the Sky was next. It was, but... Why have we been drawing this one so often? I feel like... I don't, I don't know. Lights in the Sky pulled up twice. That's really weird. All right, yeah, so we got back. Um... So, uh... Guys, just so you know, uh, we have special settlement events that uh, you guys can create by redeeming your points. And this is one of them. So, convention by Murex Bob here. Uh, the settlement decides to have a celebration of culture with the returning survivors as guests of honor. So each returning survivor rolls a d10 and plus two to the results of the players in a onesie. That's a 10. That's an 8. An eight. So you have that already. So nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. So we chat the roll. Chat. We're gonna need a D10 from you guys. 
Let's see what you get there. That's a seven. seven. The survivor gets sick with the swine flu. Gain the salt hunger disorder. Is that a seven? Yeah, that's a seven. That's nasty. What is salt hunger disorder? Uh, it's on the back of that. So the salt hunger disorder is... Can you uh, just write that on their, their thing, please? They're a zombie. Salt hunger. Your hunger for salt is so strong that even death cannot stop you. Unless killed by a severe head injury, instead of dying, the survivor permanently becomes frenzied, gains minus one movement, and minus two accuracy. The survivor can't age or gain weapon mastery. During the showdown, you move and attack the closest living creature, survivor, or monster. If a survivor is wounded from this attack, they also become affected by salt hunger. That's awful. Murex Bob, you're an awful, awful person. So just don't have them die, right? Just don't take them on the fight with us. But they're... F no, but it's unless they're killed by a severe... Oh. Oh, they do this automatically. Yeah, the only way they die. No. Yes. But that's only when they die that no, this No, no, this no, no. That, that always happens. Always the happens. The only way they actually die, die, is that they get a severe head injury. Doesn't matter how many bleed tokens they have or anything else. No, the way I understand this is they're normal until they die, unless it's by a severe head injury, and then they get minus one movement and minus one, minus two accuracy and all the other fun stuff. Maybe. Murex Bob, can you clarify that? Maybe. Maybe you're right. I think that, because otherwise that's just mean. That's just absolutely mean. So if they die during the showdown, we just run away and let them eat the monster. Matt's that right. is right. Okay. 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 So just don't let them die. <laughs> don't let them die. That's great for us. Don't let them play. Don't let Triggers them play. Triggers that death. Okay. So that's something important to note there. So that's uh, the settlement event that we yeah. had there. That's a horrible. Yeah. Gain our endeavors. We get three endeavors. Three endeavors. We're going to update the timeline. So update first up timeline. is Hands of Heat. Hands of Feet? Uh, hands of Heat. So let's see. What, what do we have in store here for Hands of Heat, Josh? Is it something good? Is it something yeah, hands of, hands of Feet are always, it's always a good thing. I forgot the order of the alphabet. So, Hands of Heat, uh, the mis the mystery of the lantern's glow. If the settlement already has innovated the lantern oven, we have not. So, one lucky day, a clumsy accident knocks a lantern free from the towering lantern horde. A sudden flash of heat bathes the survivors as the lantern crashes to the ground. Now shattered, the lantern light dies, but the, uh, the seed of an idea begins to grow. Nominate a survivor, they get plus one courage and experiment with the lanterns. Who do we want to nominate? Do we want Crocodile Dundur to be the, the nominated meanie? I mean, that would probably be the good thing, because they could get Red Fist, possibly. And... Do Hopeful, too. Uh, does this trigger the first death thingy? Yes, we we're, will we're be, be triggering yeah. that in a minute. So, who do you guys want to nominate for Hands of Heat? Do you want Crocodile Dundur? It makes sense, because he's going for the Fist and Tooth Mastery. So, that's not really a horrible thing. Um... Unless we roll one through three, and then I'm going to kill myself. But that's a different story. Bone which isn't as bad as it was before. Oh, that's, that's right. What you're looking yeah, at. They changed it. Croc. Croc. We got one for Croc. Let's let's just have Croc roll it. I think Croc should roll it. Do you not think Croc should roll it? I think Croc should roll it. Croc. Croc. We're going to have Croc roll it. So let's, guys, let's just Croc. roll a d10. Let's see what you got. A nine. Okay. Uh, the survivor discovers heat, and the settlement celebrates. Your settlement gains the lantern of an innovation, and the survivor gains the red fist secret fighting art and rolls on the lantern branding table. So we're going to roll in just a second. Josh, can you give me the red fist secret fighting art so I can show it off for chat, please? <clears throat> That's not a fighting art. I was trying to get you the innovation, too. I don't want the innovation. I want the fighting art. Big meanie. Uh. So, hands of feet. The Red Fist. Red Fist secret fighting art here. So what is it? Red Fist is, at the start of each showdown, each survivor gains a plus one strength token, and you may spend plus one strength tokens in place of survival. We've got a ridiculous amount of strength going on in our settlement right now. I mean, granted, one of our really strong survivors just bit the big one, but... And then the Lantern Oven uh, is going to give us heat. And by agitating lanterns, a source of heat becomes available for the settlement. Uh, departing survivors gain one survival. All and right. yeah, there is a special innovation that gets into the deck now. So now we're going to do some lantern branding. So a feast culminating in the ritual branding of a settlement's finest warriors by the heat of an agitated lantern. Discard half the settlement's total resources, including the storage, rounded down. Have to do that. Time. And then we're going to roll a d10. Let's see what we get here. A two. 
Uh, tradition. All departing survivors gain plus 10 survival. Add Hands of Heat to the timeline 1d10 years from now. So let's see how, how far away that is. So you're going to add Hands of Heat to the timeline in 5 years. Okay? Okay. 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 Perfect. So, what next, Josh? Gorm climate! Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Gorm climate! So, the returning survivors find the settlement tormented by the relentless foul weather. Add Gorm climate to the next lantern year and roll d d10. So, let's see what we get for the Gorm climate. A nine. Do we have storytelling? No, we don't. Uh, the settlement struggles against the quaking ground, linking arms to brace themselves against the storm. Nominate a survivor with zero hunt XP. They draw strength from the settlement's determination and gain plus one courage. Um, Just pick someone, Josh. It's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, we do need Song of the Brave. Yeah, now the good roll show off figures. I give Daftaru. Daftaru, you get plus one courage. I hope you're listening. Uh, so what next? What um, next, Josh? Now we update the deaf principle. The deaf principle. It's for those who can't hear, right? So, let's get to Principal Death. So, the group must decide uh, what to do with their first survivor corpse. So, do we want to be a cannibalistic society? Or do we want to have graves? So, the first harvest or the first grave. Uh, Josh, is gonna a, bleh, bleh, bleh. Josh is going to create a poll right now. Uh, and you guys are going to vote on uh, what do you want to do. Do you want to eat them or do you want to bury them? Josh, what is your personal preference there? Um, <sighs> endeavors are nice. So again, you guys can vote right now by typing uh, one, one or, or two. two in the chat, and that's going and to... And what's this changed for... Is that poll you vote? There you go. Okay. So let's show um, off what those are right now. I think they really... I think they updated some of the text a little bit, but... So, Graves. Graves is going to be, All new survivors gain plus one understanding. When a survivor dies during the hunt or showdown phase, gain plus two endeavors. When a survivor dies during the settlement phase, gain plus one endeavor. And then we've got Cannibalize, which is going to up our survival limit by one. So we'll have seven max survival. And whenever a survival dies, draw one basic resource and add it to the settlement storage. Do not gain a resource if a survivor is lost, ceases to exist, or is exiled. So, Josh, what is your preference here? I always liked Graves. Graves the resources nice. wouldn't be bad. We've been having a very light resource game. Yeah. So, like, either one. But, like, late game cannibalism kind of gets a little bit weaker. It does give us a plus one survival limit. Which is nice. Seven is survival nice. this early on in the game is pretty ridiculous. Yep. Uh, did you guys order all the Wanderers? I ordered all the new content coming out. I ordered everything on the Kickstarter. I don't think there's anything I didn't order. All right. Josh, you would vote for Graves, I'm assuming, right? Probably. You know, I think I'd probably vote for Graves here. It's it's close, though. With the Survival of the Fittest campaign, I don't feel like it's as necessary. Whereas with, like, a Protect the Young, you're going to have a lot more deaths. So you use it to make more babies, and it's just yeah. kind of a cycle of making sacrificial children. So. Um, so I think you could close the poll out. It looks like it's, it's pulling away even more for Bury Them. So we're going to uh, do the first Graves. So the settlement decides to build a small monument to mark their loss. The settlement gains the death principle graves. Find and place that card on the settlement board and note it in the record sheet. So after adding that card to the settlement, roll a d10. So we're going to roll a d10 here. We have to nominate someone, don't we? Nope. A one. The settlement gathers around the grave, each taking a moment to reflect the loss and their place in the darkness. All departing survivors gain one survival and one understanding. On a 6 to 10, someone would have gained a permanent luck. That's what I wanted. I know. You wanted to have your super luck build. Okay. Um, I think we have... Uh, we have a, Yeah, we have a lot of survival limit. It's, it's insane. So what next, Josh? All right, we did that. We did that. It's okay. So Development phase no is now. So do you want to innovate? We can't. We can't. Don't have any hide. I have no hide. What do you want to do? I don't even know what we can do. I don't even know what we can do either. Um, 
can't really make anything. We have like no resources. We can age up some people. Yeah, we could age up some people. So you want to age up Daftaru? I don't want to take Daftaru on hunt though, because we're very short females. Oh. Hmm. Who do you want to age up? Is there anyone decent? We can't really make any gear, Exelon. We have like we didn't really gain any resources from this hunt. We also had to scrap half of them because of the hands of or the the lantern oven. So we were kind of screwed on resources, and we didn't have any hide to begin with. You give one of those characters three age. I guess might as well. Who do you want to give three age? Or do, let's spread it. Let's give two and one. Two and one. Yeah, because then we'll get them to their first age. They can yeah. start getting weapon proficiencies. So, who, who's going to be your new character? Soon to be dead. I, it just makes the most sense, right? With a name okay. like that, how can you fail? So I'm going to age up soon to be dead twice. So they're going to get the first age milestone. So I'm going to let chat roll two d tens for me and see what um, that I'll, is. I think we have someone else like Has garlic one can use one age. So chat, what did you roll? I see a four and a seven. So eleven. Pretty sure that's a fighting art. Um, yeah, I'm ninety percent sure that that's a fighting art. But let me just double check to make sure it's an eleven. That is a fighting art. So chat, let's uh, let's you guys pull a fighting art for me. That's not on here. Yeah, it should be a little fast. Oh, yes, it is. Pull a fighting art for me, chat. Uh, Carapace of Will. Uh, pull another one. We don't pull have DBK in, in there. Yep, we don't have DBK in, so we're going to do one more, folks. F.A., F.A., F.A. Last Man Standing. Okay. All right, two that's, of those. That's ironic. That Last Man Standing is soon to be dead. So last man standing is uh, you can't get knocked down. You don't get bleed tokens when you're the last survivor on the showdown board. Yep. Okay. You don't get any tokens, I believe. Okay. A bleed? I don't. I think it's bleed. Uh, we need another two d tens to be rolled for garlic. Two d tens and garlic's aging up. Yep. This is the first age milestone. Yep. Okay. So let's see what garlic gets. Probably a fighting art, but we'll see. Uh, that's a ten. ten. Oh, and a seven. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. That is plus one permanent accuracy. Ooh. Do you want to take garlic out? He does have salt hunger also, so if he dies. I feel like it's very appropriate if I get salt hunger. So maybe I want to take garlic. We'll decide that on the next time, though. Yeah. So that's all of our endeavors. Uh, is there anything else that we need to do before we end this session? I think I we think, got everything. I think that's it. Okay. So soft sign off. Soft sign off. All right. All right. So thank you all for joining us this evening. This has been a conclusion to uh, which episode is this? Lantern Year 4, Lantern episode four, 5, five. Yeah. season Six, five. five. I was close. It says it right above my head. Yes. I should see that. Season five uh, of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Please join us for our next episode coming to you on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, doing a continuation going into Lantern Year Tuesday. 5. It's is... Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday. I don't figure out what day of the week it is. Everything's a blur to me. I feel, it feels like a Thursday. I don't know why. Today's Tuesday. Uh, so join us for that. It's going to be uh, going into Lantern Year 5. You guys are going to be able to vote and pick which one of the um, yeah, I'm gonna put that up in monsters just a second that we could after fight. After we do our close sign-off. And uh, just keep in track for that. We're going to do our sub giveaway in just a second. But as a reminder, uh, please follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and chat with us in our Discord channel where... Party never stops. There you go. And uh, is anything else you want to plug? Um, if you're watching it on YouTube... Make sure to like and subscribe. Exactly. And as a reminder, we're doing our sub drive, so please uh, enter for your chance to win a bunch of cool goodies. Uh, we're going to go over that in, again in just a second, but if you've got Amazon Prime, one free sub every month, you should use it. We'd love it. Uh, anything else you want to say, Josh? Um, we have giveaways up. I um, think that's it. All right, so stay tuned for the winner of the giveaway in just a second. But as per usual, this is going to be Twist Gaming signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone. Ghost Horn. I stopped recording I before Ghost Horn, unfortunately.